Well, it's certainly going to be a while, but as we slowly inch closer to the first boot prints on Mars, several teachers from Utah got to experience a week long simulation. Next best thing. It shows what it would be like to work and also live on the red planet. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold spoke with two of the teachers who were hoping to use what they learned to help inspire their students. It allows a lot of different groups to come out and do research as if they were on Mars. And it feels like you've driven onto a new planet. Jen Jones is an astronomy teacher and assistant to the principal at Quest Academy Charter School. This is um, Jonathan and I. We were rover buddies. Jones was selected for the first time to participate in a program called Spaceward Bound Utah with a cohort of teachers. They have a HAB unit, which is uh, the place where you live and work out of. The NASA funded program through the Mars Society allowed Jones to spend nearly a week in the Utah desert at the Mars Desert Research Station in Hanksville. They also have a greenhouse. They have a science dome. Getting to experience exactly what it would be like to be on Mars. If you leave the tunnel system or any of the buildings to go out in the general area while you're in sim, then you have to get suited up and wear a spacesuit to do it. In all, Jones was joined by five other teachers in various school districts across the state, including right here in Salt Lake, to as far away as Australia. Jen Carver Hunter is a fifth grade teacher at Mountain View Elementary School in Salt Lake. Do. Will you be first on Mars? She's also been the spaceward bound Utah commander for the cohort for the past three years. The simulation piece is where we step out of our comfort zones and we are actually in a Mars simulation, thinking like Martians, acting like Martians, and trying to stay alive. This experience, Carver Hunter says, allows these teachers to bring what they learn right back into their classrooms. For me, the entire sim experience is what I bring back. Uh, my students actually do habit habitability surveys of our playground to determine if our playground would be habitable if it was a location on Mars. The hope both Carver Hunter and Jones say that had been living in that selenite for about 150 million years is to help get their students excited about space exploration. Need all kinds of different scientists and engineers to prepare uh, all the equipment for the journeys. There's just so much that needs to be done that there is a place for almost anyone in the preparation to go to Mars. In Salt Lake, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.